is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are sitting in my living room again. I've been, I've been vibing with the couch lately, to be honest. Um, but today I have a spring equestrian favorites for y'all. I thought I would sit down and show you some of the products that I've been obsessed with lately and that I thought y'all might want to check out as well. Um, I will have everything linked down below for your convenience. And of course I will disclose if I'm affiliated or whatnot with the company. So without further ado, let's just get started. <laughs> Alrighty, the very first thing I wanted to talk to y'all about is my new Smart Pack subscription. Um, I am not affiliated or sponsored or anything with Smart Pack. That being said, I feel like Smart Packs have changed my life. Now I know that sounds like potentially dramatic, but I'm a college student. I am, I would say fairly busy. Now I know busy is relative. And until the last year, so for the last like 10 plus years I've been in the horse world, I have always made my own supplements. Now while that typically becomes more affordable, I've sort of dabbled with the idea of looking to another solution and I am so glad I did. Um, so Platinum Performance, Smart Pack, I feel like those are the two main pre-made supplement companies that I have um, heard of or ever like used or had other people at the barn use when I'm feeding their horses. Um, but I tried out Smart Pack a few months ago and I have been absolutely loving it. Um, so you can go on and you can sort of take a little quiz on the size of your horse, what you do, what your budget is, if there's any specific things that you're looking to target, and it'll give you sort of suggestions and ideas on what products they recommend for your horse. I had an idea of what I wanted um, and um, also gave or listened to some of their suggestions as well. If you turn on auto ship, you get a pretty substantial discount. And then also I think shipping is free if you have auto ship as well. Um, so all in all, it doesn't end up being more than like, I wanna say it's 20 cents more a day for me to do this than for me to make it on my own. And I have to, I don't have to worry about making them, which saves me a ton of time. And honestly, the cost of shipping ends up being um, like a huge factor when it comes to me shipping big bags of supplements that I then have to sort out myself, which I think again is included with this. So all in all, this ends up being so cost effective and I love it. Um, you get a big box like this. You can hear it because they're in there. Um, sent to you every 28 days. You get a 28 day supply and I will insert some clips, but you get a strip of supplements um, that your horse gets fed every day. I don't entirely remember what Penelope is on right now, but I know she's on um, a flax seed. She's on, um, I think, a gut health. I don't remember exactly what the name of it is, um, but one of Smart Pack's um, gut health things, like probiotics. And then I think she has a hoof supplement, and there might be one other thing. But the few things I knew I wanted were hoof and gut health um, supplements. And then the flax seed is also just great for her coat. Um, there's a lot of great, like, I think it's amino acids and oils and whatnot in flaxseed. So overall, I cannot say enough good things. I know the upfront cost is sort of expensive when you look at it, but take the time to do your homework, figure out how much it costs you per day to do another solution versus this. And then of course, your time is valuable. Again, like I said, I'm a PhD student. I have a horse. I do research. I have other jobs. Like the the effort that it took me to find the time to sit down and whatnot to do my supplements the mess it makes etc and being able being able to do that consistently was just not worth it so um i'm stoked about these and i'm very excited that i finally started doing them the next thing i have to show you all is this lululemon jacket here i forget the exact name but i will put it on the screen and i will link it down below I have been absolutely obsessed with this jacket. I purchased this jacket last year and I did not take it to the barn for a very long time. Um, I also have the vest version of this jacket in both black and in white and I love it. And eventually I was like, you know what? This would be the perfect barn jacket. I'm just gonna do it. I, I, I don't wanna say I hate, but like, I don't love how all of my nice clothes end up becoming barn things, but I feel like they do for good reason because this has been, such a staple of mine um 
it's slightly down but then the undersides of the arms and the sides of the jacket are the sort of neoprene type material it's a little bit fuzzy on the inside um, this is just such a great jacket for cool barn mornings maybe a rainy afternoon whatever you can have a long sleeve underneath it's great for layering again it's light it's not bulky it keeps me warm um, I, I feel like this is just such the perfect spring jacket or like fall jacket um, I got it in black there's some holes there's pockets there is a hood but I feel like it's a fairly fitted hood especially if you zip this all the way up it's not something that's flapping around like a giant hoodie would this hood is much more floppy and flimsy and large than this hood all in all I will try to put some better photos in and videos in so y'all can just see the fit of this but I love the length I love the fit this has been again such a staple in my closet and um, if you're looking for a new jacket or a vest, I highly recommend you check out this style or some of their other similar styles. Again, I'll put the name up and link everything down below because I forget what this is called exactly, but I have this and I have the exact same thing in two different colors of the vest version and it's a staple. Um, they also wash really well and I feel like if you are looking to wash it and then make it not your horse jacket again, you'll wash the stench out, no problem. Um, like I said, it is some sort of like recycled, I think, down material on the inside, so it's not actually goose feathers, um, but I throw it in the wash and it comes out just great. I know that some folks have issues washing down, like certain types of down materials, um, but Lululemon's down, I've never had an issue with, so stoked about that. The next thing I have to show you all, and I'm, was looking earlier and I couldn't find a link and maybe I was just not looking hard enough but this is my eco gold belt bag and this got sent to me um not too long ago and I absolutely love it I'm hoping I can find a link because I think it's just adorable and they have a ton of different trim colors but um as you all may know, I am the captain of the CU eventing team, which is like a small club eventing team here at CU. And we are partnered with Eco Gold, which I'm so fortunate about. And we ordered a few things and they happened to throw this in as a surprise and I've been loving it. There is a big, thick plastic buckle on the one side. We have a nylon thick strap that goes all the way around that is adjustable. Um, it says Eco Gold on the front. Again, you can pick your trim color. I loved the pink one. And then there are two different pockets. So there's a pocket on the back. Um, right now I have a hair tie and a baggage receipt from when I wore this on the airplane. And then there's a main big pocket in here that has a few different compartments and whatnot on the inside. So I love this thing. This has become my new favorite like barn bag I feel like this is perfect for my phone my keys I'll put a hoof pick in here some horse treats headphones whatever it's great for just doing barn chores if I'm going on a longer trail ride um or if I just want to have like like I said headphones wallet keys whatnot all in one place at the barn um this is great keeps everything nice and tidy it fits easily into my tack trunk sometimes I bring a larger bag to the barn and it won't fit in my tack trunk um when I'm riding and whatnot so love these um again i will try my hardest to find a link for this because these are so cute and i was hoping to get um a friend of mine one as a gift and couldn't find a link but maybe i was just blind the next thing we have here i talked about this in a recent video um i purchased another one of these but this is my yeti hopper flip 18 cooler this thing is kind of big and i have been loving this um I purchased another one of these like I mentioned they had a smaller one on sale in a very cute purple color that I went ahead and grabbed. This is my absolute favorite cooler for ice boots and I will say ice boots are sort of like the only thing that fit in here hence why I got another one but this cooler if you have ever used a Yeti product they live up to the hype. They last the ice lasts so long and things stay cold for so long and as somebody who's not allowed to leave my ice boots at the barn it's really important and in the freezer it's really important that i have a way to bring my ice boots to the barn keep them cold while i'm there so if i'm doing a fitness ride a jump lesson maybe i'm going cross-country schooling whatever it is i can come back and my ice boots are still cold still frozen etc this holds 
I want to say 25 pounds of ice, somewhere in that range. So a lot of ice, which is plenty for um, one horse, especially if you're doing the big, you know, like Drew boot style ice boots. Um, or if you do the ice pack boots, I can fit um, a full set of four in here without issue. And then some other ice to keep it cold. We have this strap up top, nice and thick. Um, and then there's all sorts of handles all around the side. It's this nice sort of like rubbery material um, that's not hard. It's not hard plastic. It's a soft shell cooler. Um, cleans really easy. I have used the heck out of this thing and I feel like all things considered it still looks basic, basically brand new. So um, there's a ton of different colors that Yeti sells. I will have their website linked below if you're curious to check them out. But um, all in all, that's like I said, just such a barn staple if you are really trying to take care of your pony's legs as best you can. And the very last thing I have, I'm gonna try to not get these on my couch because I'm sitting on my couch and these are my barn boots here. Um, these are from Dublin and I ordered these on the Red Post Equestrian website, but you can get them anywhere. I feel like um, if you're looking, I would recommend Red Post. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but so much more affordable buying from like Red Post, Hippo Store, like overseas tax stores as opposed to like Smart Pack or Dover. Um, this is my second pair of Dublins and all things considered, I love them. Um, it is my second pair because my other ones were just like beat to crap, but I also <laughs> wore them probably 20 plus hours a week on average, maybe not that much, but I wore them a lot. Like some weeks I'd wear them like eight hours a day for like seven days straight when I'm up at, you know. Young Riders as a groom or Pony Club Champs or something like that. Um, my other pair I had had for quite a few years and the insole just like, like the lining totally ripped to the point where my foot got stuck. I went ahead and picked up another pair and I have been absolutely loving these. Um, they're just warm, they're comfortable, they're durable. All things considered, they last really well. I feel like they're fairly like cute and stylish. And if you're doing barn chores, you are much less likely to get like shavings and mud and whatnot in those than something like a paddock boot just because it is so much higher. So um, they are leather, they clean really well. Again, like I said, they keep your feet warm. I love them. I will have the link to the Red Post ones that I purchased down below. Um, but again, you can find those basically anywhere. I'm not affiliated with Dublin or Red Post or anything at all, but like, like I said, I'm a big fan of those and I totally recommend them if you're looking for a good pair of barn boots, especially as show season rolls around. Um, if you're looking for, you know, a really good muck boot, but also something that you can take to a show and walk around at a show and not feel like a total slob because they're still fairly put together and clean looking. So that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I will have everything linked down below, like I mentioned. And before we finish things off, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already. Um, let me know if you have any video suggestions or ideas and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.